None of us want to think long on the topic of our own death. Yet, given enough time, we will all face the last moments of our lives. What does the Bible say about overcoming death? What can we learn that will help us face that day of destiny with confidence instead of fear? Today on Hot Topics, seven things the Bible says about overcoming death. Number one, in Christ we have victory over death. This is 1 Corinthians 15, 55 through 58. And here we have people who are denying the resurrection. And Paul's been talking about the importance of the resurrection. And even talks about those that are a mystery. They will be changed in a moment and a twinkling of an eye. They'll put on, this corruption will put on incorruptible. This mortal will put on immortality. But in 1 Corinthians 15, 55 and 58, he talks about victory over death. He says, O death, where is your sting? O Hades, where is your victory? Now, Hades here is the grave. It's not the word for Gehenna, which we see Jesus uses eight times for hell, but here it's the word for grave. O grave, O Hades, where is your victory? The sting of death is sin, and the strength of sin is the law. Now, the sting of death is sin because sin causes me to have a judgment. And the strength of sin is the law because the law showed me what sin is. But then it says, but thanks be to God, who gives us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. Therefore, my beloved brethren, be steadfast, immovable, always abounding in the work of the Lord, knowing that your labor is not in vain in the Lord. Now, just that middle section, who gives us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. We have victory over death because of what he did for us on the cross. And so, abound in good works knowing that the labor is not in vain in the Lord. The second thing the Bible tells us about having victory over death is that he who believes shall have life and never die. This is John 11, 25 and 26. Jesus is about to raise Lazarus up from the dead. It's going to reunite these two sisters with their brother. It's such a strong picture of us being reunited with the ones we love. And Jesus is talking with Martha. And Martha's grieving. And Jesus said to her, I am the resurrection and the life. He who believes in me, though he may die, he shall live. So we know that we will have life even if we die. And whoever lives, he goes on to say, and believes in me shall never die. Do you believe this? She goes on to say, yes, Lord, I know that he will rise again in the resurrection. So she still didn't understand that when we are in Christ, we will never die. And even though we may die, we will live. The third thing the Bible tells us about having victory over death is that putting faith in Christ gives us paradise. This is the thief on the cross. We're told in the Bible that both of them made fun of Jesus, why they were crucified alongside of him. And yet, at the point of the death of one of them, he defended Jesus, but then he turned to him and said, remember me when you come into your kingdom. There was a sign over the head of Jesus written in three different languages, King of the Jews. He turned, suddenly had faith and believed that Jesus really was a king, probably watching the way he was dying, praying for the forgiveness of those around him. And Jesus said to him, assuredly, I say to you, today you will be with me in paradise. We will be given paradise when we leave this place where there is suffering and difficulties. People will talk about this world having trials and difficulties and sufferings and wondering why God would allow that. What they want is a world without any. And I like to tell them, that's on the way. Just hang on and we're on our way to paradise. The fourth thing the Bible tells us about having victory over sin is that those who believe in him have everlasting life. And I'm gonna read you a very familiar passage. It's John 3, 16 and 17. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whoever believes in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. We will live forever with him. For God did not send his son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. We will live forever by knowing him. The fifth thing the Bible tells us about victory over sin is there will be no more tears, no death, and no sorrow. This is Revelation 21.4. And God will wipe away every tear from their eyes, and there shall be no more death, no sorrow, no crying. There shall be no more pain, for the former things have passed away. 
That's the world that we have that is to come. Even if we are facing hardships now and an, an illness or, or pain, we know that the day is coming when we will face none of those things. The sixth thing the Bible tells us about victory over sin is death will one day be destroyed. Again, this is 1 Corinthians chapter 15. It's verses 25 and 26. It says, for he must reign till he has put all enemies under his feet. The last enemy that will be destroyed is death. Death is such a devastating thing. It seems so final, but it's only final for those who haven't put their trust in Christ. And one day, Jesus will overcome even death. Finally, the seventh thing the Bible tells us about victory over death is that death can't separate us from the love of God in Christ Jesus our Lord. In fact, Romans 8, 38 and 39 tell us nothing can. Here's what it says. For I am persuaded, Paul said, that neither death nor life, nor angels, nor principalities, nor powers, nor things present, nor things to come, nor height, nor depth, nor any created thing shall be able to separate us from the love of God, which is in Christ Jesus our Lord. Not even death can separate you from the love of our Lord as we put our trust in Him. So as we move forward and we come closer to the day of our death, it is a day that we will be in His presence. There was a song in the mid 70s called Home Where I Belong. One of the lines in the song said this, one day I'll be sleeping and death knocks on my door and I'll awake to find that I'm not homesick anymore because I'll be home, home where I belong. God bless you. We'll see you next time on Hot Topics.